Alright, well I figured I'd make a video on the comparison between the regular SOG Aegis and the SOG Aegis FL. So the SOG Aegis has been out for quite a while. It runs around $70, I think I picked mine up for. Um, this new version here, the Frame Lock, runs about $20 at Walmart, which is not a bad price. Um, but there are quite a few differences. Let's start out with the original SOG Aegis. So on the original SOG Aegis here, it's spring assisted, got a side tail handle and an arc lock, which kind of acts as a bench made access lock ish of sorts. Uh, I got a safety up on a the corner there. Overall, just a really, really good fast knife. I've carried mine a lot. I love it. Uh, this is actually one of nothing fancy's favorite knives, so uh, kudos to him for turning me on to this. Got your deep carry pocket clip. Sog does deep carry pocket clips awesome. This is one of the best deep carry pocket clips I've ever used. Like I said, really fast. Uh, you can get this in a couple different uh, coatings. Um, as you can see, mine's a little beat up. Uh, I believe they have just a standard version of it with not the black coating, just uh, just a plain stainless. And you could get this in a Tanto shape at one time. I believe they still make the Tanto. If I remember correctly, this is also Aus 8 steel. So pretty decent blade steel for about $70. This is a really, really good knife if you're looking for something fast. Um, awesome blade shape. Awesome blade shape. The Soggy just probably is the best blade shape out of any knife, period. One downside that I can see is that because it is a full flat ground, you could snap that tip off pretty easy if you do any sort of prime with it, which you shouldn't be doing anyway. Alright, so overall, really good knife. Now the Soggy just FL, or frame lock. This is non-assisted. It has a stainless handle versus the Zytel, and it's actually, as the name suggests, a frame lock. Now, I don't feel that either one is faster than the other. I mean, this guy still pops out really fast, even though it isn't assisted. I almost feel like it's faster than the assisted. That might just be me, but you can you have almost complete control over how fast you want it to come out, and you do have the option to slowly open it so if that's a if that's a feature you want you have the same blade shape um this is actually a stonewash blade kind of got a stonewash thing going on for the whole knife uh still have the deep carry pocket clip this one is actually connected straight onto the body with screws versus going in the top like the original model one advantage that this version has going for it is that it's actually flow through so it's a lot easier to clean that out you're not going to have to really get canned air in or anything you can just blow through and it'll work just fine for you and overall size wise are going to be about the same um spec wise i don't know the exact weight on these guys but but the frame lock version is going to be a lot heavier. I mean, you can just tell in your hand it is heavier because of those stainless scales. But if you like a little more weight with your knife, that's not going to be an issue for you. One downside is that it does have HCR13 MOV steel, if I remember correctly. Which, I mean, isn't isn't so much of a, uh, a big deal. A lot of knives have that steel and they pull off real well. I've never really been a steel snob, but it's just something to keep in mind if, uh, if that's something that you're concerned about. But I mean, definitely overall, I'd recommend either one, depending on your budget. Um, I would personally go for the original, the Zytel handle version, um, $70, $80 you're talking. But if all you have is 20 to throw around, this is definitely a good choice. It's better than the little cheap Walmart knives that you always see hanging around. You know, the ones for like 4 bucks or like the Ozark Trail knives. Another knife that I'd say would be a contender to the Aegis uh, frame lock would be the Kershaw Cryo. Um, kind of around the same price point, a little bit more expensive, but uh, you can find this at a lot of Walmart. Um, kind of depends on what you're going for, though. Uh, personally, I like the SOG a little bit better because it's a little bit bigger and I prefer a little bigger knives, but you know, to each your own. I have no clue how to end video, so I'm just going to tell you to go follow me on Instagram. I post all sorts of cool stuff on there. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, so I got to get out of here and go to sleep because I got work tomorrow. But until next time, I will catch you in the next video.